Hi everybody, uh, this is Stacy with lovethatbug.blogspot.com. Today I want to share with you how to go about importing an SVG file that we download from the internet into the Cricut Design Space so we're able to cut it out using the Cricut Explore machine. I'm also going to be using a text. We're going to add text to that shape. And the text we're going to use is a system text. So whatever text you have on your, whatever font you have on your computer, you could choose one of those. So I'm going to show you two things today. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up your web browser and go to the Cricut Design Space webpage. To get there, you would go to cricut.com slash design space. You're going to log in and then you will see the screen I have. To, uh, to log in, you're going to see there's a little green box up here in the upper left hand corner. Click on that, log in, enter your email address and your password, hit log in. And then uh, you're going to click on create new project and that's where we are now, okay? Now as far as SVG files, there are uh, so many sites out there that offer uh, ones that are free or ones that you can buy. I go to, me personally, I go to svgcuts.com. Now I'm not affiliated with this company, I just like their designs and I've been using them for about a year now, whether it be a free design or a purchase one. And you want to find one that's a reputable company. You don't want to just go to any any random Joe Schmo website because you are downloading a file to your computer. So you want to make sure it's a trusted website, okay? All right, so once here at the homepage of svgcuts.com, we're going to click on where it says free designs. And there are so many to choose from. And like I said, his designs are really well, are really good. They cut out really well. The instructions are really good if it's like a 3D object. Like you can see here, there's it's a 3D object. He will give you really in-depth instructions on how to put these things together. And then I think it's nice that if you are new to the Cricut Explorer and you want to test out SVG files, just kind of get your feet wet to see if you like them and how they work. You can go here knowing it's a trusted site and you can get one for free without having to pay for it. So if you don't like it, you're not wasting any money on it. All right, so I'm just going to find a, a shape here that I can use, that I can uh, cut out, and I can also write on or put text on of some sort. Um, I'm going to keep on hitting next until I find one that I like. And once you are here, you're going to want to download them all because they are really nice. I'm going to keep on hitting next. There you can see there's a 3D box there. Uh, the Polaroid frames, I already have them. I already went ahead and cut some of those out. Um, if they're near me, I can kind of show you. All right, they're not near me, but I did cut one out. Looks like this. All right, so we're going to keep on going until, again, we find one that has enough space on it to where we can write something on there. All right, whether it be a phrase or just a simple little word. I like that too, little cone for Christmas. All right, so keep on hitting next. I want something like, like a plain square or a circle. I like this one. That's kind of intricate as well, so we can test the intricacy of the machine. So we're going to go ahead and select that one. We're just going to click on that design. Uh, it comes up here. Free SVG file. Shortcuts a lot. It says 050412, so it's May 4th, 2012, so it tells you the date. It was, at, it was actually uploaded to the uh, software. And even though it says shortcuts a lot, it's an SVG file, so we, we're going to use it in the Cricut Explorer. We're going to scroll down until we see the download now box. We're going to click on that and download it to your computer. And once you have it downloaded, you're going to, uh, I'm going to minimize my screen and go to my download folder. Now I have Windows 7, so by default, mine goes to my download folder. Okay, you can see it there. It is right here. Okay, I already have these two ignore. Okay, this one and that one ignore those. It's in the center. So you can see it comes downloaded as a zipped folder. To unzip that, all I need to do in Windows 7 is right-click on that uh, folder, hit Extract All. Now the one comes up and you're just going to hit Extract again. Okay, now you can see I have a folder there. Okay, if I click on the folder, we can see if I make these icons a little larger. We have Frame Bottom, Frame Middle, and Frame Top. So this is a layered piece. So if I want to see what they look like without actually importing them into Design Space, just double-click on it. And it's going to bring you up in your Internet Explorer and show you a preview. So we can cut that out. It'll look um, just like that. We, so we can write something on it and it'll cut all that out on the side. If we go to frame middle, okay, it looks the same. If we go to frame top, it's that, so it's a square. So I'm just going to choose frame bottom. So I'm going to close this out, go back into my Design Space software, close out my SVG Cuts page. All right, now we're back at the landing page in Design Space. Now we want to import that file we just downloaded. So to do that, on the left-hand side here, your little left toolbar is all your options. 
The top one is insert images. That would be um, a cartridge. If you wanted to insert like a cow from Crater Critter, you would go there. Upload image is uploading from your computer. That's the one we want. So we're going to select upload image. And this window appears. It says a basic upload and vector upload. If you read under basic, it tells you to upload a JPEG, a GIF, a PNG, or a bitmap file. We don't want that. We have an SVG file. Under vector, it says upload SVG or DXF. That's the one we want. So we're going to select um, vector upload. We're now going to select browse and go to the file that is our that's where our, our download is. So I'm going to go back to my download folder. Go here and I chose what did I say I was going to choose frame bottom. Okay, select frame bottom, hit open. There's the preview of it. You can most certainly come in here and rename this. You can just take your mouse, highlight that, and name it something you'd like. In this little box here, you can give it a keyword or tag it. So if you want to search for this, you know, it's like you can search by keyword. I'm just going to hit save image. Okay, now once you save it, it's going to appear down here. And all this is uh, shapes that you already imported. You can see I've been playing quite a bit. All right, so the one we want is right here. I'm going to uh, take my mouse and click on it. It makes that check box or that check mark turn green. And then also down here, it gives you a little, that little shape in a circle that confirms it's, it's selected. You're now going to hit insert image and it will appear on your mat or in your software. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, like that. Now to figure out the size of this, there's no numbers uh, next to this. So to figure out the size, you're going to go up top on the right hand side under edit. And then you can see there it brings up the size. So right now this is 5.34 by 5.34. Okay, I'm fine with that size. All right, now I want to add text to it. And I want to add a text from my computer if I can. Okay, so we're going to try that. Again, on your left-hand side toolbar is a button that says Add Text. We're going to hit that. A text box comes up. And we're going to add, you know, I'm going to be kind of goofy here and add Stacy Loves. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Stacy Loves to Sneeze is what I'm going to add. Stacy Loves Nick. Okay, there we have Stacy Loves Nick. Now in your edit window, it now changed to a font window. Now by default, it's going to bring up the fonts that are on the Cricut cartridges. I don't want that. I want to use the font for my computer. So to do that, I need to select here where it says all fonts. You can see that there. I just click on that and it brings up a little window that says all fonts, system fonts, Cricut fonts, or single layer or has a writing style. So select system fonts and that would take you to the fonts that you have on your computer. Okay, I'm going to bring... Scoot this out of the way so we can see my font box. All right, so now I just need to hit the little arrow button and find a font I like. So let me see, Amore is a really fun, kind of quirky little font. I do like that, okay? Now if I want to center that font, okay, make it say, because right now it's all lined to the left. To center it, you just go here. You know, this is a line left, a line middle, or a line center, and then a line right. I'm gonna select a line middle, so it kind of centers my font. It looks a little bit nicer there. I'm going to close this out and I'm going to bring my shape back down, put my letter on top of that. I know it's kind of hard to see and just make this a little bigger. Okay, just like that. Now my shape is kind of quirky. It's kind of going to the right. So I want to kind of make my shape go there as well. So I'm going to kind of turn it a little bit like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty cute. I could probably go a little bit smaller though. A little bit smaller. Okay. So now I have my font for my computer and our SVG file. Now I want to make sure that font or the text I just added writes on the paper, not, not cuts through it. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to go to your layer window again. Okay, now you can see here if I zoom in the letter S, that is going to bring up the first letter of the phrase or word you added. It's not going to bring up the whole word, just the first letter. And then you can see right next to that is a little pair of scissors. You're going to want to click on the scissors. A new window pops up, which is right here. It tells you to cut, write, or score. We want to select the word write. And I'm going to use the pen that came with the Cricut, which is a silver metallic pen. Select that and then hit close. And I can close this out. Now I want to make sure that these are attached. It's going to actually score or it's going to write and cut at the same time. To do that, what I found that I needed to do is take my left mouse button, holding it down, and covering over the entire image like that. And then bring back my layer window. Okay, now you can see there my layer window. What I want to do now, I want to attach these. It gives you the option of welding, 
contour or attach. I'm going to select attach. Okay, that what that does, it attaches my text to that shape. Okay, so close this out. There we have it. So now we're going to see if we can cut it out. That's the fun part, right? All right, up top, the little green button that says go. We're going to go ahead and hit on that button. And it brings up our map preview. And we should only have the one mat, which we do. So it has the one mat with our design on it. And you can see we have a pair of scissors and a score pen or a writing pen. Okay, so we're now going to select go. All right, it tells us to please wait. And it takes a few seconds for it to communicate with the Cricut. All right, right now you can see this uh, turn bold. So it tells us to load our material. So I'm going to take you guys over here. Pardon me for kind of just taking you there like that. All right, I'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit. All right, you can see here on my machine, it is blinking. All right, so I'm going to put this in here like this. And we're going to hit this little button there. Okay, now on my screen, it tells me to insert the pen. So I'm just going to take a piece of uh, paper here, put under my thing there, take the marker that came with the Cricut. This is like, again, this is the silver one. Take the cap off. All right, you're going to open up clamp A just by simply opening that little clamp up. I'm going to put my cap in that little tool caddy. Have the arrow facing you and just drop it in there. Okay, but you want to make sure the arrow, it goes all the way down. So just hold your carriage with your finger, your pointer finger, and push the pen down. Okay, you'll hear it click in the spot. Then go ahead and close the clamp. Take your paper out, and now we're going to hit the go button, which is this blinking little cricket icon right here. Okay, and again, it may take a few seconds. Actually, it didn't take any time at all. All right, so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to write our text out first, and then hopefully it will cut it out. And I did read on the Cricut uh, Design Space Facebook page that you can use other markers other than the ones that come with the machine. Uh, you can try the American Craft Markers, but they're called the American Craft Slick Markers. Uh, you can use Recollections Markers, which is the Michaels brand. All you want to make sure of is that it has a fine or medium tip point, nothing with a, a bold point. And I also heard that Crayola Markers work really well. And they're, of course, a dime a dozen, so I'm anxious to try those. But for today's video, we're just going to import an SVG file, see how easy it is, and then to draw our own text that we download from the computer or already have on your existing uh, computer fonts. And this particular font is called Amore, A-M-O-R-E. It's a really kind of, it's like a quirky little wonky little font. I have it as one of my favorites. All right, let me zoom you guys in there so you can see it cutting the shape out now. And this is a pretty intricate shape. It is a larger shape. But with my other Cricut, whether it be the Expression or the E2 or the Mini or the Imagine, I was never able to get a really good intricate shape without having to go in there and poke things out or file things down. And this machine seems to do really well at that. I've only had the machine since yesterday, since Monday, March 3rd. And I've done many, many cuts. Uh, and I think the machine works so far the machine on the machine aspect pretty flawlessly. Uh, the design space, another story, uh, I have quirks with that every now and then. But I really am overall happy with the machine so far. Alright, so I cut out the outline. You can see the kind of outline there. Now I'm going to go in there and cut the little shapes out, the little circles. And I do like the fact that you can take a marker um, and add you know, your own text on that. You know, you can pick any color you want, you know, any kind of font you want, which is nice. I do have the Cameo, which is, you know, of course, printing and cutting. But this is right there. The Cameo doesn't take markers, you know. I mean, I can print any font I want from the computer. But I do like the marker effect because it kind of lays on top of that versus something that's printed. It kind of gives you a layer look without actually being layered. And I'm not going to pause this. This way you guys can hear the machine. You can see how long the, from the process takes from literally start to go. From logging in, finding the file, downloading it, importing it, and cutting it out.
It does beep a lot though, but I think the beeping has to do with the print then cut feature that's coming along, like that's coming later on in the uh, year. Um, as long as the cut's good, it could sound like a dinosaur. You know, like my cameo sounds like, you know, like a big construction zone. It's really, really loud, but it cuts really well, so I don't really mind the noise too much. You know, like if you have a choice of a really loud machine that cuts perfectly or a quiet machine that cuts horrible, I think we're, we would all choose the loud one. And it looks like there might have been a little hang up right here. Like it looks like it gave it a little bit of issue there as far as cutting it out. It is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload this. Sorry about that, I didn't have it locked in. All right, so there's our cut. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this off the mat and, you know, let me get you guys down here so you can see better. I apologize for that. I was out of range there, out of frame. And what I noticed, which is kind of a coincidence, is that I wrote Stacy Loves Nick and this little shape has hearts on it. So that kind of worked out really, really well. Okay, so there's our shape. It did get hung up right there. You can see it's kind of wrinkled. So, you know, you might want to go in there and kind of... Um, that's the first time I actually got a little hang up. But it cut out really, really well. Look at that. Super, super cute. You guys can see that. You know, the circles is a perfect circle, which is always a problem with the Cricut. The hearts are nice. I really do like that. Anyway, guys, that's how we import an SVG file into the Cricut Design Space. That's how we add a font and cut it out. Um, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.